Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Let's jump right in. We're heading over to Instagram sign-in page on Instagram.com on a computer browser. I'm using Chrome. The first thing you're gonna do, sign in with your username and password. And then once you're in, you're gonna see the normal layout when you're on desktop, right? You can view some stories, you can see your profile, you can see all of your photos. But one big complaint has always been that you cannot upload pictures directly to Instagram from the desktop version. You'll see there is no option to do that anywhere here, right? There's nothing you can do. But here's a weird little secret for you. All you have to do, we're gonna go up to the corner and we're gonna hit those three dots on Chrome. We're gonna go down to more tools and then developer tools. If you're in Internet Explorer, that'd be like F12 or Safari, you'll find it under developer tools usually. We're gonna to toggle at the very top. This is meant to be for developers to test what it looks like on mobile or different experiences, but it's hidden in the browser. So all you gotta do is go up to the top, look at the little icon that looks kind of like a tablet or phone. Let's click that. Then we're gonna refresh the page. And then you're gonna see an experience that looks more like what you have on your mobile phone. And what do you have there? You have the plus button, like you wanna add a photo. Now, if you don't see it, you may have to refresh your page. So just hit Command R or you know um, refresh on your page, and then you should see that that little icon is changing, and you're going to be able to add your picture. And you can toggle between the desktop version and the mobile experience. Now we're going to run an experiment. We're going to try and add a photo. So I'm going to hit that plus button on the bottom of the page there in my window. I'm going to select a photo from my computer. I already have one saved. It's my profile picture for my other channel. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Now you'll notice when I import this, you can still do certain functions, like you can expand it and make it wide, or you can bring it back in and zoom it in so it's a square. I'm gonna leave it as a square. I'm just gonna center myself here. That looks good. Now, filters. You can still use your filters, and you see I'm applying different filters, but you cannot use any of the in Instagram edit features. So no sharpen, no saturation, no change in the warmness, you know, all of that. So you're gonna have to fix your photo before you get it ready for Instagram from your computer. Once you're in here, we're gonna go ahead and add a location. You do have to enable location services. I haven't, so, but it is possible. Next thing, you can still tag people. So I'm gonna go ahead and tag myself in it because hey, it's me, why not? Shelly saves the day, here I am. I'm gonna select me. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do, I am going to go, okay, we're done with that, and I'm gonna write a caption. So I'm gonna say, hello world, which is kind of like an old programming entry level. It's a joke, right? So I'm gonna say, this is a test from my computer. You know, I'm gonna try out some spacing, and I wanna see if the spacing, um, if I hit an enter, if it maintains any of the spacing, because I, I don't know, let's find out. And I'm also, I'm gonna do an emoji, and if you don't know how to add an emoji from your keyboard, if you hit Command, Control, and Space Bar on a Mac, that is going to bring up the emoji keyboard. And you know what, I'm gonna try also, I'm gonna try not adding dots, just enter button. I'm gonna try and add a couple of hashtags as well, I'm gonna throw those on there. All right, that looks good. Now, I think I'm ready to share. So there are more limited options when you're doing this. Like I said, you don't have access to tools. And there it is. Okay, so it does not maintain the spacing. All those spaces that I put in and the enter, it's not there. You know what though, it worked. It's on my profile. I'm gonna like that picture. Now I'm gonna go back and see it's in my profile. I'm gonna toggle back to a desktop version and there I am in the picture. I would say this experiment is successful. Now keep in mind that they could take away this option at any time, so it's not guaranteed. But for now, if you're looking for a way to upload from your computer, it looks like we have it. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out a new video every week. I can't wait to hang out with you guys again. I'll see you very soon. Bye.